Hey guys, and welcome back to the next instalment of the Matt Aspen Community Game. Today, it's just going to be a quick one to announce that we are now starting to write the GDD or the Games Design Document. Now, if you don't know what a GDD is, it is a very useful document for a Games Design Document, obviously, where we basically store all of the information about the game, so everything you need to know about creating this game is going to be stored inside this document. So when we are building it, whether that's programming, modeling, sound effects, music, whatever it is, it's all going to be inside this. So you can go to it, you can reference it, and you know exactly what it is we're doing, what we're making, how we want it done. And again, anything you need to know, it's in there. So what I've done is I've created the template which we're going to use, which will be linked in the description down below. And I'll go to my computer in a minute and show you more about it. But again, it's a rather large template which I've made. It's very detailed. So we have all the details in there that we need. So we're going to start writing this up now. And the main way we're going to be doing this is basically you won't be editing it yourself. I'll edit it, but you can send me what you want written in there. So whether that's by the Discord server, Discord DM or email it to me, either one is perfect. I prefer Discord DM just so I know what it is we're doing, but you can all discuss it in the Discord server. Then I'll actually write it in there because if I let everyone write in there, it'll be absolute chaos and it wouldn't work at all. And also when you look at it, it should just be a viewing version of it. So you can only look at it. Please don't request access to edit it because you're not going to be getting that access and it will just fill up my emails with requests. So please don't do that. And I'm letting you see this like this so you can actually follow it along and see what it is that we're doing. And again, you can look in there to see what it is that you want to maybe fill in. Now to a lot of you out there, this part of creating the game is the boring part. I personally don't think that, but a lot of people do because it's just writing. You're not actually doing the thing, you're just thinking and writing down, but it is very important to do. So I'd still love if we all could contribute to this, it would really help out massively. And the more people that help out, the quicker it'll get done and the quicker we can actually start developing the game properly and doing some more practical stuff. So without further ado, let's get onto my computer and I'll give you a quick rundown of it. And that'll be the video again, link in the description down below where you can look at it and start discussing with each other to see what information it is that we want to put on there. So here we are on my computer. And as I was saying, this is the template that I have made for our GDD. So it's quite detailed, as I mentioned. So obviously we've got the name here. This is a basic concept logo, which has been created. This will probably change as the name will probably also change from Project Universal, as that is just something I came up very quickly just to actually give it a name. So if you do have any name suggestions, also put them in the Discord. I will probably be creating a proper section in the Discord ready for continuing along with building this. So if we go down, we can see this is the table of contents which we've got. I split it into 10 main sections, that being the game overview, the gameplay mechanics, the story setting and character, levels, interface, artificial intelligence, technical, game art, and supporting documents and bibliography. So I'll give a quick overview of each one as well and how you can help out. So the game overview is obviously just going to be a basic synopsis of the game and the concept genre, all this stuff. I'm not going to go through absolutely everything because obviously you can see it here and you can also come onto the GDD yourself and have a proper look through it as well. So we've got all this good stuff here. Now what I will go through is the technical. The target hardware is basically going to be the minimum and recommended requirements for playing this game. So we want to decide who we want to allow to play the game. Ideally we probably want everybody to be able to play it. So what we're going to probably do is find out the best ways of changing the graphic settings. So maybe toggling on and off ray tracing if we did want to have that because I've seen a lot of people saying that this game would look great in a more realistic kind of setting so it's how we can have it look as good as possible but also allow as many people to play it too. The supporting documents is essentially I put this in so any kind of extra information we'll put on there so let's say we want to link to a video of another mechanic in another game you'd put that under here so you might say where you're actually writing it for example in the gameplay mechanics in the mechanics you'd write such as this mechanic from this game and then you say see page whatever it is go to the supporting documents on that page where you'd have the link to the video i just personally prefer to set it up that way as it keeps it all nice and organized so everything you need is in the supporting documents here and the bibliography is also very important so anything that you reference is going to go in the bibliography so you need to reference that video any images you use any information anything you need will be need to reference in this bibliography now, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing Harvard referencing as that's the way I've been taught in college and university. It doesn't really matter which way you do it, but Harvard referencing is a good one. Now, obviously, I can't imagine a lot of you will know how to do that. So I will do it for you. Don't worry. Just send me the link to what you've used, what you've referenced, and I will then do the Harvard referencing based upon that and put that into the bibliography here. Now, if you do know how to do Harvard referencing, perfect. Do that as well. It will save me a bit of time. 
but it doesn't take that long because I've done it so many times now because I have to do it basically every day in college and uni I had to do Harvard referencing so I know how to do it very quickly so don't worry too much about it but like I say we do need to make sure that we reference it so this is what we've got this is the basic well, I say basic this is the base GDD which we're going with I have kind of taken some inspiration from some other GDDs as well because the ones which I've done in college and uni haven't been too detailed because it's basically just been me and a mate working on it but since this is a much larger project and there's a lot more people working on this I wanted to go into more detail so I've basically taken a few different GDDs merged them together into the ultimate GDD which we have here so again this will be linked in the description down below and this video is actually a bit longer than I thought it would be so sorry about that I just wanted to really explain it all and get this information across and out to you so again make sure you join the discord server where we will be discussing all of this and actually going through it and talking about it and planning it all out and that's also where we'll start making the game too so thanks so much for watching this video and i look forward to seeing what it is that you come up with for our gdd which we have here